site about Dope Boy Ra. I don't know if y'all familiar with Dope Boy Ra, but Ra Ra, Dope Boy Ra. Uh, he used to go by the name of Young Capone back in the day. Uh, and I actually was blessed to, you know, be able to work with him back then. Matter of fact, I interviewed him. We chopped it up. And then right after the interview, we talked about doing a mixtape together. Well, actually, during the interview, we talked about doing a mixtape together. And he was like, yeah, let's get it. I'm with it. You know what I mean? So we did the mixtape. I'm telling this story, man, because, you know, I'm, it, it, <laughs> it's like yesterday, you know? Um, so we did the mixtape. And then when we submitted the mixtape, then his management, he was like, well, oh, I guess Young, Young Capone was like, man, I, I need him to be my DJ, you know what I'm saying? You know, so Nick Love, his, his uh, manager at the time, hit me up like, yeah, let's let's make it happen, you know what I'm saying? How can we, you know what I'm saying, make it happen to where you be his his DJ, uh, you know, his official DJ, you know what I'm saying? So granted, you know, this is right after... Not not right after, but but after he was uh, signed with, at first because he was first he was signed with with Jermaine Dupri, um, and he had a, a a single that dropped out on a, on a compilation I think like that and um but so this is after that so after that you know he was he was solo he was a uh, indie artist with a label called Try to Entertainment he had a single out with uh with Mario uh Choo called Choosing at the time I mean he was on you know. It was on MTV and all that. I mean, he was doing his thing, but they was independent. So try, try the entertainment. Real dude, cool cat. You know what I'm saying? So they had their movie anyway. So let's fast forward back to what I'm talking about. Uh, so we do the mixtape and stuff like that. Get it done. Ask me, ask me, do, do I want to be his uh his DJ? So you know, so that that's how I was able to like get you know a relationship with with with. with I used to call him Young C. Uh, and he was just a cool down to earth cat. I didn't, at the time, I didn't realize he was a producer. You know what I'm saying? And all that. But you know what I'm saying? He was producing his whole, all his tracks and rapping. You know what I'm saying? Boy, was cold, talented, cool. You know what I'm saying? Just a cool dude. You know what I'm saying? So, Anyway, that's why I kind of hit, you know what I'm saying? Just like, like, just like when Trouble, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what happened with Trouble? Like, they were just cool, just like with Dobie. I, I worked with all these artists, and they were just humble, like, cool, but they were super talented, and they was Shorty. destined to be, like, some Shorty. of the biggest. Shorty. If you just go do your homework, they was destined to be some of the biggest. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy, like, how that's how it's unfolding like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, um, so, just recently, I'm looking around for Dope Boy Rock because he had been doing a lot of stuff. I'm talking about after, the, after we did our thing, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and some things happened to well, you know, the, the label dropped down and he had to go independent again. Then he came back as Ra Ra. He did his independent thing. Always putting out quality music, always hardest beats you ever want to hear. Go do your homework, man. Check him out, you know what I'm saying. Represent the east side to the fullest, you know what I'm talking about. And, uh, Go check him out, you know what I'm saying? So Ra Ra, then him and Tip kept working together real close. Then, you know what I'm saying? Then he got pulled on over to uh because he was behind the scenes, I guess, producing tracks for Hustle Gang and stuff like that. And you know, so he got on a compilation called a Hustle Gang uh compilation. That's and uh so he was on that, and this was after Dobie had pack up. Dobie did kind of did the same thing. Uh but anyway, boom. He did that, and then now he's Dope Boy Ra. He, he releasing hard ass mixtapes back to back, killing them, just boom, 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 boom. And then, you know, I'm out here working, I'm doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? And, and so after a while, I just stopped seeing stuff. So anyway, me knowing how hard he is, I'm, I'm always playing this music, I'm always checking for him. But after a while, like I wasn't really seeing nothing. So, like I said, just recently, not too long ago, we posted an article. And it was he was on B High and he was and he was saying some real stuff about how, you know, like when you become to a certain status, you're a street artist and you hang around all your partners and you in the hood, you know what I'm saying? It's not smart for you to just stay in that scenario because after a while, you know what I'm saying, that's how it breeds, 
jealousy and envy because you got all this game over here that you pulling from like major outlets and you on the radio and you at you know so you on tv and all this stuff and then you come over here to the trap you know what i'm saying so everybody gonna automatically come to you because it's like you hogging the trap now so everybody gonna come to you so you gotta kind of separate yourself from that situation so i'm digging everything he was saying like what he was saying was so real like i just had to post it so i posted it on our on our uh, uh we did an article on the website with it about that that post and uh a week later i had no what was it the progress report uh sent some out to my dope boy Rob was missing in damn chicago and i'm like what the hell so boom so then the day long story short i wake up you know, thinking it's a normal day. You know what I'm saying? I, I get on Instagram and I see this uh artist uh Shotty Boy uh post something saying, Rest in peace, uh Dope Boy Rob, man. So, you know, all that all that happened today, you know what I'm saying? And about 10, 15 minutes ago, I had to, you know, try to post something real quick, you know, something getting ready for the show. So today's been an eventful day, man. Uh I had to get out my system, man, because it's just kind of on my brain right now, you know what I'm saying? But uh Right now you tune in to the uh five o'clock grind with your boy DJ Gutter Down, man. Uh bless him, bless his family, man. You know, shout out to everybody uh that, that was close to him, everybody that worked with him uh in a real capacity that really had love for him. Uh and uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh keep that man's name alive. Cause, I mean, he was one of the coldest from the east side of Atlanta to me. Like, you know, go check that mix that we did a mixtape called uh uh Look at You Now. Do your research. But yeah, so we in this thing, man. And like I told y'all uh, yesterday, we working on some stuff for y'all, man. We gonna we got some giveaways we planning for y'all. Trap shorty, uh, trap shorty. Some special prizes, uh, contests we putting together for y'all. We in negotiations about some of these giveaways. You know what I'm saying? A lot of free stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Tickets, merch, all that type of stuff. So we keep giving out the number so y'all to know. 